Greetings, it's late Saturday night, this is the uh, rotor number one, the bottom rotor, or the back rotor as it would be. Uh, all the magnets are on, <coughs> not in the fashion I would have liked. Uh, this is what I ended up making and using, which is far from ideal, because I did have... Have this, but because I got slightly wrong magnets, they're obviously badly manufactured magnets and they're only 24 mil wide. But that's okay because I've got enough coming to obviously I've gone from 12 to 16, so that's for 12. But I'm gonna get one of these made for 16. Uh, once I find the magnet supplier, I actually get 25mm magnets from there's the secondary rotor which doesn't have any magnets on it yet, which is just with a couple more coats of paint. But I'm quite happy with how that ended up. If I put the camera down here, I don't know, you can't see as well as I can, but they're lined up pretty much okay. I don't know if I move the can of paint out of the way. Yeah, that one there, I can't zoom in with this 1080p camera, but it's not bad. <coughs> so I've got a notch there where basically that shows me that that's magnet number one. That's the important thing. The thingy template goes on there so I know magnet number one's here so basically what I want to do for accuracy's sake is I've got to bear in mind that that rotor is going on with the jack and screws facing outwards so I'm pretty sure that that's just got to be flipped like that and it'll go on that way and it should line up Sorry, getting a bit dawdly with the camera. But yeah, that's the progress. Everything, the drum, the yeah, the drums and every, the frames come down. And it's all got a coat of this this stuff. Uh, I wanted to take a quick video of the magnet rotor looking all sexy before I painted it because it's probably going to end up with having some of this on it because they weren't the most expensive magnets and they may be susceptible to, well, I know for a fact they're susceptible to corrosion so it's more than likely next time you see it it will all be orange. So, yes, progress. Adios. Here's the coils I've made. I've made nine so far. I've decided to go for 12 coils. Each rotor disc is going to have 16 magnets. So there's going <coughs> to. I need to make three more. I'm going to take some stuffing in. This one, worth noting, this one ended up a lot wider. I've used it, I've pulled some wire out of it, which is why it's gone funny. But I lost tension during the production process and it ended up a lot wider. So. It's a backup one if I need to take it apart. But yeah, they're pretty good. I've weighed them. They're all between 260 and 280. So I'm going to maybe take a bit of the wire off the ones that weigh 280. <coughs> so I've got all my resin. Excuse me, I've got all my resin. And yeah, I'm going to get busy with that. But 
just got to wait for this paint to dry on here which takes a while certainly overnight that's dried on there that looks quite nice so the magnets are going to be going on here I'm waiting for four more to turn up and then there'll be that's going to be the top rotor which is what or the back no sorry yeah the top or the front if it was going on a normal kind of turbine so that's got the jacking screws in so that's going to be lowered down on there and I've got this which is going to be kind of inverted to put the magnets on the other one so yes that is progress I'd say everything's out uh, everything's in the other workshop had a coat of this the drums and that so that's good so progress hopefully the magnets turn up Monday and then I'll do the other disc and then I'll do the stator as well I might get the stator done tomorrow I don't know all right